Hey everyone, we're back at Art in the House again. From our house to yours, we're gonna be talking about another artist. And this, this program is brought to you by www.oaae.net. And you can find some of the things that we're doing downloadable pretty soon that you, you can color your own. For those who are not in Art in the House, those who are around the state, it's nice to meet you. My name is Richard Duart Brown, and I'm one of an artist that started the East Side Canon. It's a family of artists that have worked together and become like family, and we keep, we're keeping each other's history. And I'm sharing with you artists that I get to work with personally, like Gay Riesland's another one today. She was, uh, she's known as Mama G, and she also works in Art in the House. And I got to go to her studio during the COVID, this COVID time, and I got to meet her mother, her daughter, and her granddaughter. And this is a painting. Every artist I get to meet, I've been doing a painting of them and we're gonna make a little book, a coloring book. And this is her and her daughter in her studio. And because they're all in this time of COVID, they were wearing masks, except the little girl. She refused to wear that mask, but here we go. That's Gay and her children, grandchildren. And this is one of her, with one of her paintings that I found offline. And she has this one where it, I really love the way she painted this little girl right here and her. She was blowing a dandelion, and the dandelion formed into words, love, hope, peace, and joy. And this is something Gay hasn't even seen yet. So you guys are seeing it before she even sees it. And I hope she likes it because she has a strong opinion about life, and she can set me straight. <laughs> so what we created for you was a coloring sheet, and we practiced with the crayon. And every time I do one, I like to paint because I like to be looser, but you can color yours, you can paint it, you can use colored pencils, you can cut it out and make a collage out of it. You can do a lot of things and you can copy it. But we're sharing these through WOOAE.net. We did two for Gay. Not everybody's getting two because her daughter, Kennedy, is an artist as well. And so I felt like I got two for one in this one. So we wanted to share you. Um, she has tattoos and she's dressed like a model. She's sitting there all stylized. So it's so cool hanging with them. So today you get two coloring sheets and on the back that has the same story of gay. It doesn't tell you about Kennedy yet. Maybe we'll update that and change that. Cause you know, we're always learning, we're always growing. So when Gay Reese Griesland, she wants to be called Mama G, uh, created art in the early her career. She focused on achieving a beautiful aesthetic. Now as an activist, she strives for beauty that has more of a meaningful less mess message. Most of her work generally has something to do with social justice. Now that she's a grandmother on the other side of 50, she feels like an obligation to make a difference in the world. Gay says people used to pass her work and make comments such as, oh, that's pretty. Now she strives for art that makes the viewer pause, think, okay, it's beautiful, but there's also more to it. She features women of color, generally, and, and older people with wrinkles. She loves wrinkles, not so much on herself, but in our artwork, Gay says, wrinkles are a roadmap that show a story of what people have been through. Gay's work captures the strength of women of color. Yeah. So today, um, we're gonna paint a watercolor on the table. And I think some of you have the nice little tablecloth you put on your table so you don't mess up mama's table or whoever, aunties or grammy, grandmas. I'm gonna put these color ones away because I'm gonna mess up my own table. And I'm gonna put this one behind well, actually, I'm gonna put them together. Since it's two as mama, daughter, artist, is that okay, photographer person? Well, they can't talk to you because they're holding the camera to make sure everything looks right. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I approach watercolor. And I think some of you already know me and you know that I like to like loose colors. So when I see Gay, when I think of painting a person, I kind of close my eyes and see them in my spirit or in my mind. And I think of their personality and their personality influences the colors I want. For some reason, I think of gay as blues and purples and some greens. And um, I think that's the way her, um, those colors just describe her to me. I think colors talk a lot. I like painting people in blues because I just do. Some, some things I don't know why, I find out other reasons later. But here I go. I love a lot of water on my paint. Sometimes I'll wet the paint with just water and let the paints run together. Since I'm painting two at once, I'm gonna paint two at once because I want all these painted and I wanna put them in a book. I wanna share them to my grandkids. 
I want to share them to people I haven't met yet. And maybe I'll come to your town and get a chance to work with you in a library or a rec center because I love to meet new people because once we paint somebody, they become my family. This is the way I'm collecting and making my own scrapbook for my family all over the place. So I'll, there's yellow in the background, even though I told you about purples, but I'm gonna use some, actually gay is gonna be mostly purple, everything. I'm gonna let undertone of purple there. You see how the water just kind of runs together? I'm gonna, let the, I'm gonna let watercolor do what it does. It just kind of like runs and flows and spills and blends. I want some red in here. Because Gay says she likes you to think about what the art means, not just look at it and say, oh, that's pretty. Um, so while you're painting, what do you think about? I think about a lot of things, stuff, answers seem to come to me when I paint, like answers, like creative answers, the way I solve problems. Wow. So Gay's, Gay's picture turns out a little different for me from the other two that I've done so far. I find myself just applying a color like loosely running around, like the colors just running all over the place. and. I kind of like the loose feeling of it all, but I feel like I need some green up here because green reminds me of a path or a road that seems prepared with fruit along the way. You ever picked a fresh apple off a tree? You ever picked a berry from a bush? It tastes so different. I had a lemon from a lemon tree that we grew in our yard and they said lemons don't grow in Ohio, but they don't know I did. I grew a lemon in a tree in my yard tree lasts for two years until I left it outside in the winter and it just went away. Let me see. I'm gonna add, like, you know what I like to do is just run the color along the edge of the black so it looks like it's, it gives it like a shadow, like that bare that foot, you know? And sometimes if I show you the photograph that I use, it looks different when I paint it, but I love the colors. Someone was pointing out to me that the way this one's drawn the picture of Gay and a little girl blowing the word peace from the wildflower. Looks like she's smoking a pipe or just, so in other words, if you look at the drawing, the way the mouth is, maybe I'll show you the painting to see if that does it for you. They um, talked about the arm flows from right here and her mouth flows up and it looks like she's smoking a pipe in a symbolic way. And I didn't even know I was doing it. Sometimes when you're painting, different things emerge or come out of your art that subconsciously you're not thinking about, but it just kind of shows up in there. So so today I painted two wash colors on at the same time because they were, they were together, they're one. This is Gay Riesling, got all their colors, and the camera person is doing such a great job. And this is the other one. They're still a little wet. I'm gonna let them dry. So if they, if you carry them too hard while they're wet, they'll tear easy, so I don't want them to tear. Now remember on the side, they tell you all about Miss Mama G. And yes, that's Mama G. Well, when I'm looking at this one, I'm gonna do one more thing. Look right here where I left this color, color this edge colorless. I left it so colorless. I'm, something inside of me says, no, give her some more color, make it bolder. You can always, when these are dry, go back and paint more. You can always add more layers. And I want to, but I like the layers that come in there. Now, you might ask, why didn't I just paint it brown? Because I'm an artist. I do what I feel inside. I trust my instincts. I take risks and try things different. I don't have to do everything the way everybody else does it, unless I want to. This is a chance for you to be creative, to speak from your voice, and tell us what you see. Someone, sometimes, when I try to explain what's in my mind, I can't always explain it like I see it, but when I paint it, it helps me explain it. So hopefully you're painting, you're resting, you're enjoying life, you're taking advantage of the summer, you're hopeful, and you're using your talents, and you're growing. It's nice to be with you again. Hopefully I'll hope you come back next week. And meanwhile, we're gonna do a new person next week. Take care. Hey everybody, you know I said I'll see you next week, but I'm back. Guess what? I forgot to tell you when I went to Gay's studio, look what I was able to buy. 
I got my own original piece of art by Gay Riesman. She signed it. It was done in five, I think that says 18. And that's her G, Riesman. I'm so proud to be an owner of Gay's art.